a lot of what happens in communication is described sometimes as having passed beneath the threshold of awareness. And what that means is so much of what we do with gestures and particular vocal inflections and things like that have an impact on us, but they're not things that we're necessarily consciously aware of. What I'm interested in with my students is to try to get them to pay attention to those things, to understand, for example, that something like an apology, which seems on the surface to be a pretty formulaic expression of regret, is actually a very complicated social procedure steeped in history, steeped in particular language usages, and also drawn almost invariably from different religious traditions as well. So I think that in some ways probably one of the greatest impacts that I hope I have on my students is, and I sometimes think it sounds funny to say it, but is to make the simple things complicated. I've had an ongoing interest in film. I uh, teach different courses in film studies in the School of Communication. Probably for me the most interesting, and it's just my own particular interest, is the work of Alfred Hitchcock. I've always been a fan of Hitchcock's films because they not only are good films, Hitchcock of course is often recognized as one of the great filmmakers of the 20th century, but I think also because Hitchcock's films capture so much of the periods in which they were made. There are people in the School of Communication who have backgrounds in anthropology, have backgrounds in sociology or film studies or philosophy, and yet somehow or another bringing those ideas all together is the way of creating a very stable and strong foundation. It doesn't mean, of course, that if you go into faculties where everybody's had the same background, they're weaker, but there's some kind, something exciting about a program that is as eclectic, and I guess I want to say almost electric, as the School of Communication and as the new faculty as well. We kind of spark off each other. We get ideas from one another. We're always coming up with new ways of collaborating because we find, you know, kind of uh, unknown treasures in other people's research that give us some insight into things that we're doing. Collaborations, in other words, that we wouldn't have thought of or made possible by the new faculty. And that's been one of the hallmarks of our strength, I think.